Good day everybody, Shortbus here and welcome to another Shortbus tutorial. Today we're going to focus on the forestry mod. So jump on the bus, strap on your helmet, and let's go see what we've got in store for you today. Alright everyone, today's tutorial I want to go ahead and show you how to make this relatively lightweight and easily built bee farm. It's not too bad, it's a little more of advanced uh, for later in your game. But for those of you that are at this point in your game where you can build some Ockarchic gates and your apiaries and have time to mess around with this, this would be a good chance for you to learn how to automate your beekeeping. So let's not delay anymore. Let's get to it. Alright everybody, before we get started here, I want to go ahead and give you a list of items that you're going to need for this. Now obviously these are just the end result items. I'm not going to give you all the material that you need to craft the items that we're going to need here today. But the base items we're going to need, we're going to need two apiaries, two apiary chests, one normal chest, two Ock Arctic gold ore gates, one Ock Arctic iron gate, seven apiaris pipes, four iron pipes, and a billcraft wrench to manipulate those iron pipes, some stone or some cobble pipe, some red wire, and two wooden pipes. All right, everybody, go ahead and turn the day up here a little bit, get a little more daylight. Now you got all your materials, let's go ahead and get started. Start by laying out a couple apiaries right here. All right, and then we're going to need to get down underneath it. And way we can lay some piping here. Normally what I would do uh, for things like this with where I got the piping is I'd want to kind of hide it. I'd like, I don't like leaving it exposed. Uh, in that case, what I would normally do is I'd go too deep here. Right, and I'd lay all my pipe underneath, and then uh, once I was done, I could lay my dirt blocks back on top, and you won't be able to see the majority of the pipe, but it'll make the tutorial a little bit more difficult, so I'm just going to leave it like this. But feel free, if you want to go too deep, you're more than welcome to do so. Another thing you could do, I'll show you at the end, is you can take uh, some facades and lay it on top of your piping and cover it up, and it'll look relatively uh, normal. So, all right, got our two apiaries there, so go ahead and lay down an apiaries pipe there. Apiaris pipe there. Let's go ahead and connect that. Get a stone pipe. Connect the two like that. One, two, uh, three. Let's see. I believe that's where. We'll go ahead and lay down another apiaris pipe. And another one there. Get your apiaris chest. Throw. Oh, that's apiary. Apiaris chest. Throw one there. Throw one there. Go one more back. Normal uh, stone or cobblestone pipe here. All right. Transportation speed on these pipes on the between the stone and cobblestone they're about the same, so you don't have to worry about those. Um, throw down a normal chest on top of that. Normal chest will catch all your honeycomb and uh, yeah, honeycomb pollen, whatever the bees produce. Uh, it'll go into there. All right. Good. There. So now that's the basic. Uh, we'll get into, if you don't know how to use these apiaries chests, we'll get into how to do that in just a little bit. All right, in the meantime, i uh, fill that back in there. We need another apiarist chairs, apiaries pipe right there. Um, ch -ch -ch. Let's see, do we have an apiarist there? One, two, three. Yeah, we did. Apiaries pipe right there. Come around. Apiaries pipe. And we will throw in an iron pipe. All right. What we're going to do here all right, is on the bottom, we're going to let all the drones come in through the bottom. All right. Then on the top right here, this top pipe system, this will be the princesses that come in. And the reason why we're doing this, uh, anybody who's familiar with uh, beekeeping or has a general idea, you want to crossbreed your bee, your bees in this. All right, we're just going to do a basic setup here, uh, but this will get you started in the right direction for crossbreeding. Uh, by crossbreeding, you can come up with new g uh, genomes, new genetic makeups of some of your bees. Not always, but a lot of times they'll have a chance to upgrade. And, uh, but in order to do that, we've got to have a separate piping system here, um, just so that way we can separate the bottom drones. Uh, say this first one, we'll probably put meadow drones in here, but we're going to want the forest. Um, princess is going in and the opposite will be true on the other side all right and then whatever's left uh, if none of those match the criteria or if the slots are already filled 
then they're going to come right back into the chest in here. All right, so that's pretty much it for that. Uh, we can go ahead. I guess we can pipe the. What is this here? We can go ahead and pipe in the main system to get it in. Normal stone pipes for this. And yeah, we need to put in an iron pipe for that. And a wooden transport pipe for that. All right. Now, one thing I like to do, I didn't do it with that other one, but it's not totally hooked up yet, is uh, take my wrench here. Where's my wrench? We'll put it down. Remember, this is a build craft wrench. This is the only wrench that's going to work for these iron pipes. If you're not familiar with these iron pipes, you can change the direction in which objects go through the pipe. Um, there's only one way they can go out, and the only one way they can go in. All right. And what is the deal with that? Uh, sorry about that. That was my mistake. I actually filled in, put a stone pipe right there, and not my iron pipe. All right, iron pipe there, stone pipe there. Now it's going to work. Uh, you have me confused there. All right. You can see here, the edge of the pipes, it's dark gray. Click it with this, and it opens up. You get this open slot, you get this dark slot, and it's dark there. It might be kind of hard to see right there, but that's also dark. The spot that's open is the way your objects are going to run through it. So the, what we're going to do is this box here is going to hold all our bees. And when we ask for it through the arc arcic gates, they will come through, enter this pipe, know that they can't go back into the system. We don't want it to go back into the system. We want it to come through this way and start its journey to its apiaries that way. All right, so that's the deal there. All right, now let's get on top of these. We need our wooden pipes here. And if you don't know, the wooden pipes are the only pipes you can connect to uh, chess and, in this case, apiaries, oops, um, to be able to hook up redstone engines or uh, arctic gates or even regular gates for that matter. But uh, we want to be able to draw items out of this. All right, so that's why we're using the wooden here. We're going to hook up the arctics, which will give us some information and you'll see that as we get going on here All right. and for this we will use another iron chest or iron pipe I'm sorry iron pipe and then we will pipe this out normal stone pipe here alright try to keep up on your uh, I think I mentioned this just a minute ago but let's try to keep up on your pipes here it's gets a little confusing sometimes right so now we want uh, when we draw items out of the top here whether it's bees or the honeycombs out the top they're going to come up and come into here click it once we want them to go back out here into the system all right so make sure it's open up there open up comes down to the system here so now we'll set this one see this one's closed off so if we left this as it is all the items that come through this pipe would eject out because it wouldn't have any place to go so we click it click it click it click it or take it all right see now it's open there we want to go back this way because this down here this is our return pipe all right so open double check make sure everything's open it comes in here goes down hits this iron pipe goes through and goes that way back down and around cool all right that's how that works it's going to fill this dirt block in there and that's pretty much our only setup here as far as the piping goes the piping's done all right so let's go ahead and get this stuff out of the way and we don't need this fluid pipe get rid of that reason why I chose the arctic gold here is because you kind of need to. We, we're checking for multiple conditions in this, in these pipes here, or in these apiaries. And anything less than this, the, like the uh, iron arctic pipes, they're not going to, you can only check really one condition. Um, so it, you got to go gold. It's, it, it's a little expensive, but in the long run it's going to be worth it especially if you make this uh, whole system a little bit bigger it'll be worth it in the long run all right down here on uh, actually it'll be on the back side here on this wooden p transport pipe take your iron arctic and hook it up right there all right and uh, now let's go ahead and set up some wire here all right doesn't matter those are connected all right so it up, go down the pipe, 
go down the pipe. You can go either way here, however you want to go. I'm just going to go take the short route here. All right. Come this way. There. And, oops, missed one there. There we go. All right. So now we got all our piping hooked up. Now we're not going to worry about coating the Auk Arctic jet. Let's go ahead and worry about setting these apiary pipes. All right. So let's start our journey here. This is going to be our main hub here of all our meadow and forest bees, whether it's drone or princesses. This is where everything we're going to draw from is this chest here. All right, so what we want to do is once they draw out, they come down here, all right, and then they're going to hit this first apiary pipe. So let's go ahead and go on the system here. Oh, look at the colors here. It's going to go up is white and right is blue. Okay, so we click on that one white we're going to send upwards we're going to send princesses so just left click this until you get to princesses we're going to leave it at any princess don't set any filters here all right so this is telling that any princess uh, no matter what genome it belongs to is going to go upward in the pipe once we get up in the upper deck there we're going to figure out which ones go there all right and then blue what did we say it was blue yeah blue on this bottom pipe make sure you're on this bottom pipe and you're not accidentally hitting this top one here on the bottom pipe for the blue we're going to hit drones. All right, any drone with any genome is going to go through. Don't set the, uh, don't set any filters for that either. All right, so that one's set. So let's go ahead and work on the princesses ones. First one, let's go ahead and make this. Actually, it looks like it's getting dark. Let's set daytime real quick. There we go. This one, it's blue going into the apiary. Okay, so now we want to be specific. We will go ahead and go. This is the princesses up here. So let's go ahead and do, that's the first one that pops up. So let's go ahead and do forest right there. All right, so we want the forest princess there. Now the one going the other way, we've got to set this filter here for the yellow. Okay, because otherwise right now, this section's closed. It's not going to accept, it's not going to let anything go through that. So what we want to do, let's just go ahead and set it to anything. It doesn't matter what comes through. It's just a, uh, better to set it that way in case something comes through you're not expecting. It's not going to just eject it into the world. It's always going to at least cycle through the pipes. All right, so we'll leave it as anything. All right, then let's go do the other B. I guess I could have jumped around. Do the other princess here. All right, again, it's blue going into the apiary, and this time it's going to be black going down. So let's go with this. Oops, I accidentally hit the pipe. You don't want to do that. Uh, when we say blue going in, so this is again is princess. So set up the princess there. This time, instead of the forest, we're going to set the genome as meadows. All right. So and then the black was going down again. We're going to go ahead and choose anything. Now this one's very important that you choose anything, because what we're going to do here, remember that what comes out of here is not only bees are going to get ejected, but we're also going to get our pollen. We're going to get our honeycombs and whatever else that comes down and through here. So you don't want to reject those. So you want to let anything come through. All right. So then once it hits down here, it's going to go through. And actually thinking about it, this has got to be an iron pipe as well. So let's go ahead and destroy that and throw in an iron pipe. Grab your wrench. Don't forget doing this. you got to open it up. There we go. Now the open slot is going towards our chest. The reason why we do that is because we don't want it to go back into the system. Even though on this one we're setting the red to something else, uh, it still will allow items and bees to go back into the system. We don't want to do that. All right. So use an iron pipe and redirect it that way. All right. Double check. Did we get that one set? Meadows. Black as anything. All right. Cool. Let's go ahead and set the drone requirements here. I just open this up so it's easier to see. All right. This first one, I believe we set forest as the princess. All right. And uh, you can see there it's white that goes up. So white. We need to set this to drones. Um, just in case if a princess somehow makes it through this pipe, it shouldn't since we set the filters. But let's just go ahead and make sure it's drones that are meadows. All right. Go ahead and set, what's the other one? Yellow. We need to set the yellow to, again, we're going to set this as anything just in case something funky gets through the system. We'll leave it as anything and let it go through. All right. And you can, just so you know, you can set here for, any, you can set any of these uh, filters for the anything here, but it's going to ignore these the way uh, Sanger made this apiary pipe is the filter. It'll be ignored on anything. So it doesn't matter what you set there for when you do this. All right. And then let's see, this one will be white going up and 
red going down the pipe. So white going up again. This will be drones. Go ahead and set this to forest, right? The other one was meadow. Double check. Yep, this one's meadow. This one's forest. Alright, and red we said. Red will be, again, anything. Alright, got that set up. Now it's going to go through, even though this is blocked on the iron pipe, that only counts for things that are inside the pipe. So once it the items enter the pipe, it won't go up and it won't go back into the system. It'll be forced to go through the system that way. Alright, so now what we want here, this first one is our main main one. The only thing we want dumped into this, it should be white that goes up. White, the colors are always the same direction, north, south, east, west, uh, up and down. All right, they're all going to be the same color every single time. So the white going up. Now this is important how you set this. All right, We want any bees that are either forest or meadow. Okay, now it's important you set it like this. What you get here is forest. If I were to set uh, meadow here, it would check uh, this is the genome of one bee. This is the primary ma genetic makeup of the bee. The primary genetic makeup would be forest, and then it would check its secondary. And if it wasn't meadows, if it wasn't both these genetic makeups, it would eject the bee into the next filter. So your results wouldn't be the same. So you can check multiples here. But it's got to be, you can check up to three different types, all right? So we want any of the genetic makeup to be force, whether it's primary or secondary. So if you leave the secondary blank, it'll check any either of those for that. And then the second one is forced. So again, we got any B, so this will take the princesses and the drones and check to see if it has either of these genetic makeups. If it does, it'll go into the chest. If not, we need to hit the red filter. Again, we'll go ahead and pump anything through there. All right, and then come over to the next one. Now this one will be for the uh, extra bees that we have up here. All right, so we will go any bees. Um, mostly what you're going to get through here is common uh, because we're only crossbreeding the co the uh, uh, meadows and the forest bees. Most so mostly what you're going to get in here is common. But for future use, if you expand the system here and you start breeding the commons. Um, you're going to get some cultivated, you're going to get whatever. So, But just leave this as any bees, whether they're princess or drones, and don't worry about the genetic makeup. We want all the leftovers that's not meadows or forest to come in here. All right, and the other one, what is that? That's red there. The red will be, we'll go ahead and mark anything, just in case we messed up on a filter. Uh, really the only thing that should come through here is items. All right, but in case we messed up on a filter somewhere, we don't want it to eject into the world. So I'll just leave that as anything, and anything left over will go into our regular chats. All right, so uh, I accidentally hooked up some red pipe or red wire there. Don't worry about it; it's not going to affect anything. Um, if I were to hit that, it'd destroy that APR's pipe, and I'd have to reset the filters. So we're just not going to do that. All right, so let's go ahead and set our Oc Arctic gates. Click this first one here. What we're going to come on. Now. What we're going to do here is, all right, we're going to go ahead our, not our first signal here. What we're going to do is we're going to check to see if there are any items in the inventory. If there is, what we want it to do is we want this Arctic gate to send an energy pulse. Don't do single energy pulse because if you've got uh, multiple items in there, which you will end up having multiple items, it's only going to pulse once and it's going to leave it at that. All right, so what we want to do is we want the regular energy pulses. We want it to send multiple of them until it's empty. Then we'll quit sending those empty those energy pulses. All right. And then the second filter, what we're going to do is uh, go backwards here. Now if you press le the left click button, it'll go forward through the list. If you press the right mouse button, it'll go backwards through the list. And there's quite a few filters you can check here. So we're going to go backwards through the list. Missing queen or princesses. If it is missing one, what we want it to do is send out the red pipe signal. All right. Then we're going to do the same thing here. We're going to do it for missing drone. Go through here, hit the red pipe signal. All right, and that filter is done. As simple as that. Come over here. See, it's already lit up because it's missing. Uh, it's missing drones and the princess. So we're going to come over here and set up the same thing. Items in inventory. 
we want it to energy pulses, queen or princess, red pipe signal, drones, red pipe signal. Simple as that. All right, so now it's uh, lighting up that red wire. It's coming back here to this iron oak arctic gate. Open it up. See, now we, we did uh, three filters in those gold ones. We wouldn't be able to do that in these iron ones. All right, and it's important that these golds are ores. All right, right here it says gold ore gate. You don't want the AND gate because if it was an AND gate, all these conditions would have to be true in order to provide an outcome. All right, so make sure you use OR gate. For this iron one, it doesn't matter if you use AND or the AND gate or the OR gate. All right, because we're only going to be checking for one signal. All right, first one, red pipe signal on. If the red pipe, pipe signal is on, we want it to send energy pulses. And that's it, simple as that. So now what's going to happen is uh, we're going to load up our bees in this one, and it's going to punch through. So we're going to go ahead and get this started. Check it out here. Dump in our meadows princess, forest princess. Bam, bam. Go ahead and leave it at that. It's dumping out through the system. And if you haven't messed with these APRS pipes before, it's kind of nice. They are like gold pipes. They, uh, they you, so you don't have to worry about it. If you've got a big long system, as long as you've got some APRS pipes in there, they're going to zip through at a very high speed. And I put in a, see that? See how they're going backwards through the system? I messed that one up. So they're going to kind of bounce back and forth in here. I forgot to check this. I don't know why I used a gold one here, or an iron one here, but we'll go with it. You probably don't need an iron pipe there. But I put one there by accident and forgot to set it. That's why it's important to do it when you get along, or as you throw them in there. All right, you can see the princess is zipping up there. Red pipe signal's off, so let's check our apiaries. And they bred, so we should have had, that should be, uh, we weren't quick enough to look at it, that should have been with the uh, Meadows drone. And then over here, this one's going too. Got the uh, Meadow Queen, should have been a forest drone. Now, I'm surprised these guys are going. I know I've got flowers way over there, but they shouldn't be going that far. You typically, I believe the bees only go about 10 blocks, nine blocks, ah, see, there we go. Now we got the mistake up here. It says here, no flowers, no flowers. Hive members need flowers. So they quit working. Bees don't like to work when there's nothing for them to do. So uh, we'll go ahead and just, it doesn't matter what color you use. I'm just getting some variety out here. Uh, and exactly how many we need, I don't know. I'll just kind of lay them out. Uh, the bees will create their own. See, there we go. That was enough for them to come out. You can see them coming out there. Uh, they will, if you've never done bees before, they'll start producing their own flowers. All right. Now, go ahead and talk to you. We're going to let these guys work for a minute. I'll fast forward in a minute and let you guys see what's going on. Make sure all the filters work and then everything comes back through. All right. Uh, when you do this, when you set this up for yourself and you start doing uh, bee farming, before you get started, don't just have uh, one princess of each. All right. The drones isn't too big of a deal. You're going to end up with a ton of drones and you're going to end up having just to dump a bunch of those drones at some point. Um, your main ones are the princesses. Go out and find yourself several forest and several uh, meadow princesses and that way you've got a good selection in here uh, because eventually these princesses are going to turn into commons and or cultivated or whatever you're, you're crossbreeding. They're going to they're gonna eventually change if you're crossbreeding them. So you want to have extras in here so you can walk away from this thing for a while and not worry about it. All right, so just throw a bunch of them in here and you'll be good to go. And you can walk away from this thing for quite a, some time without checking it up. Because if you're not familiar with these apiaris chests, there's five pages worth of stuff that you can put in here. So there's quite a bit before you can uh, really have to worry about it. All right. And if you use this system, if, you, if you're using this really for uh, tree breeding, remember these bees really can go about you know, about nine or ten blocks. Uh, they can pollinate that far away from their from their home. So you can line up here. You can do a bunch of uh, trees, um, crossbreed your trees, uh, which crossbreeding the trees are really going to help you for if you want to use biofuels or anything like that. If you want to turn uh, your oil into some some biofuel, then you're going to want to crossbreed some trees because the saplings from those trees are going to provide a better 
uh, quality. Uh, that's that's for another topic, but uh, better quality fuel, uh, you, you're going to get more out of it. It's not going to take as long. So, uh, anyways, do it that way, and uh, we'll go ahead and fast forward. And all right, guys, uh, it's finally finally did some uh, finished breeding, or they died, I guess, is what the princesses actually do. The queens actually do, is they die. Uh, they always eject at least one princess. Uh, doesn't never know what kind it's going to punch out till it does. Looks like actually we ended up getting two force princesses. One, two, yes we did. So, see what I mean? There's, uh, it's always important to always have several of each kind. Because now they're going to come through the one that requires the uh, meadow princess, which I believe is this one. Uh, it's going to keep asking for bees. All right, so uh, Because it's never going to fill up, so this red pipe signal is always going to stay on until you get another meadows in here, until this filter is uh, met. All right, so it's always best to start with, with uh, several in here. Um, but let's check. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I mean. This one shut off. The other one won't. Everything's dumping out here. And while we were break getting our drinks, I'm going to go ahead and shut this off. Shut that filter off. Um, so we can quit stumping out. All right, had we gotten anything else like a common princess or common bee, it would have came in here. All right, I'm pretty sure it would have worked. I know it would have worked. Uh, while we were away, we ended up getting a honeycomb come through there, and that one worked, so it reached all the filters through. So as long as this white one's set to any bees, you'll be good to go, and it'll go up just fine and enter there. All right, well, this tutorial's getting kind of long, so we need to wrap this up. I didn't mean for it to run this long. I apologize for that. Try to be as thorough as I could and explain, uh, in case you weren't too familiar, with the apiaris pipes and the iron pipes and everything else that goes on here. All right, so we'll go ahead and cover it up here a little bit. Like I said, if you want to make this a little bit more pretty and hide these pipes, you can go a little bit further down, uh, go an extra block down, and then just cover them up with dirt pipes. Or what you can do is you can come here, and set up some facades. All right, and let's go ahead and grab the dirt facade. All right. Like that, and uh, go ahead and cover that one up too. What the heck? All right, all right. so that's pretty much it. Um, like I said, this can be easily expanded upon. You can reach in here and you can make this all filter out so when this gets uh, some common bees in here, uh, you can use your, your newly uh, created bees to start just going through the whole cycle. Um, you could do this with any breed breed you want. I'm not gonna go over what the best bees to do, what you, what kind of bees you get when you crossbreed with what. Um, but I will tell you that crossbreeding the forested meadows, um, doesn't matter which way you do it on these, I do it both ways just in case, um, is really probably the best way to go. For one, you can breed these guys pretty much anywhere. You can breed them in forests, you can breed them in plains, you can breed them in extreme hills. Um, they're pretty versatile, so you don't have to go to, you know, say the wintry areas to breed the wintry bees. Um, or the marshes to breed the marshy. Plus, these guys are pretty good. These will end up becoming either um, industrious bees or they will become, uh, oh man, I can't think of the other one. It, I just drew a big blank. But these are the two best that you, you really are going to get in the game, um, especially if you're going to crossbreed some trees. Um, they pollinate much better. Uh, that's for another topic, though, if you want to learn how to do some tree breeding or tree uh, cultivating, then uh, go ahead and let me know. And we'll work on that. Otherwise, uh, thanks for taking this journey with me, guys. I hope you found it useful. Uh, sorry it took so long. Click like if you found it useful. And go ahead and subscribe to me. Go ahead and check it out. We, uh, I've got a, some planned things coming up. So uh, I can do a Minecraft build along. And I'm kind of currently working on that. I haven't recorded yet, but that's coming. So, again, thank you. Click like, click subscribe. Have a good day.